It's just been one week since President Obama's re-election, and already residents of more than 30 states have filed petitions on the White House website to secede from the union. The state with the most signatures, Texas. The Hill's Brendan Sasso joins us. Brendan, um, tell me what's going on with this. Uh, so the White House has this uh, website that they launched last year where anybody can go on, you can start a petition, and if you get 25,000 signatures on your petition in 30 days, the White House has promised that they'll respond to it. Uh, so now, you know, a few days after the election, people started these petitions, uh, and Texas is the one that has the most signatures. Last time I checked, is more than 80,000 for, uh, for them to, to secede from the union, but also uh, Louisiana and Florida have also passed that 25,000 signature threshold. So the White House will respond to them. Yeah, of the 80,000, I mean, do they know that they're even Texas residents, or could it be, and could you multiple, can you vote multiple times? Uh, you, there's no sort of, you know, it's not a, there's no verification. You just go on, you put your name uh, and in your state, but there's no requirement that you have to be from the state. Yeah, has the uh, governor of uh, Texas spoken out about this at all? That's right. He put out a statement today because uh, Rick Perry uh, had some comments back in 2009 that got him some trouble where it seemed like he was sort of flirting with the idea of secession. So he put out a statement today saying, uh, that, that he thinks you know, the union is strong and he doesn't support this petition, but he shares people's concern about the overreach of the federal government. I take it you would agree with me that it's a little bit like some citizens who are unhappy with the election poking a stick in the president's eye that it's not likely we're going to drop down and lose a couple states. Sure. I think it's, uh, you know, people are frustrated. These all The, the petitions don't specifically mention uh, Obama's reelection, but, you know, you can sort of figure out that that's what this is likely about. It sort of reminds me of, you know, a lot of liberals after uh, Bush got reelected, a lot of people were saying, oh, we're going to move to Canada or something. It seems like it's the same sort of frustration that you see here. It'd be interesting to see if the White House even responds. I mean, I mean, they've, I mean, they've met the requirements, a certain number of signatures within a certain period of time, uh, but I'm curious if the White House will respond. Sure. And uh, in, past, in the past on some of the petitions, they've responded with sort of a non-response. They'll cite some reason that they can't answer uh, the petition. Um, it be, I'm interested. I think they will respond. Uh, it'd be interesting to see, though, whether they came back with some sort of snarky response or whether they tried to te uh, treat it with some seriousness. Uh, they've also combined uh, petitions in the past, so it's likely they'd only do one response for, for all of the different petitions. For all 30 states. That's right. And, and it's 30, even more now. I mean, so as, actually, 30 states, I mean, 30 states don't have nearly the threshold. I mean, not take it or do they? It was only the three that, last time I checked, it was uh, Louisiana and Florida have also hit the threshold, but, you know, people are signing up all the time. And there's also, uh, there was another petition that was started, uh, some liberals started a petition asking Obama to sign an executive order that anybody who signed those other petitions should uh, get exiled <laughs> from the country. So, <laughs> all right, so, everybody, so people are having a little fun with it. They're getting right. back at each other. Anyway, Brendan, thank you. Thank you.